Hey everyone and welcome back for Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland Part 9. As always, I'm your host, Red Falcon Games. And this is like the tenth introduction I've tried out. Eventually I hope to you know find a comfortable one for me, but I don't know. As I enter this level, there's lots of balls, balls everywhere, and you know, I'm a straight guy, so I don't usually like balls, but I'm trying out balls here. You know, loving balls. And there's chicks everywhere, chicks and balls, and I die right away. Those chicks and balls got to me. I figured, why don't we try this ball out again, and I get killed with it. I never quite understand the strategy of the ball. It just, like, you die, pretty much. It's like a big ball of death. You form into a ball, and then someone attacks you. It makes no sense. I think it's, like, the worst power-up. I know how you can, like... Like, jeez, there's so many balls in here. There's more balls near than Ryan Seacrest's bedroom. Ugh. That's gross. Anyway, enough with those kind of inappropriate jokes. This is the second to last episode part extravaganza of Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. The amazing boss finale is coming up next. It is less than a week away from a YouTube user near you, which is me. I know you're going to love it. And I know your weird uncle is going to love it too. Because let's face it, your weird uncle is pretty cool. Enough with that crap. Jeez, I am just talking about random crap. I don't know, I feel like talking a lot. Like, I can just talk so much, oh my god. Oh my god, I can just talk, 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 talk. I'm too busy freaking dying in this game. <sighs> As you know, I still yet to get a game over. My big quest. To beat the game without a game over could end here it could end so I'm just like my hands are sweating like crazy I've already talked to you about this before you don't know how bad oh yeah I know I just stopped my computer like as you know I, I use the internal mic on my Dell computer I don't know why it's just better than my Logitech one because my Logitech one when you like say peas or something like that it, it like it acts all weird on you. But you don't have to get this one up here, just you could just go and break that thing, but I don't know, I'm impatient I guess. Anyway, what I was what was I saying? Yeah, that that noise is just like it's you know on the old computers like when you start it up and stuff it makes that like intense like breathing noise, it's like shh Yeah, that's kinda what happens on mine since I use the internal mic, it picks it up. And if there's a point where I'm not talking, you can hear it a little bit. But when I'm talking, normally, it's not a big deal. Ooh. So I was talking about something, and then I got sidetracked about the internal mic, and the noise stopped. So I apologize if I stopped talking about something important. But here's a big crash level, which I hate. It's so annoying. Like, why do they even do this? Basically suck up crash and then use crash to defeat more crash. It's like, it's a weird concept. So let's get through it and there's a big wheel. Before I had trouble with it in part like four or five, now I realize you just gotta make it hit the wall and then it like makes red babies. And there's some little wheel down there. I have no idea what it's doing. I don't know if I'm supposed to use it or something. See, the noise is right here again. See that? Yeah. Let's get this wheel. Why not? Wheels are awesome. But this is not the level to use wheels. Sometimes they give you wheels when you don't have to. Jeez. This level with the air is so annoying and the burning. I'm telling you, this, the levels get tough. I mean, Kirby is one of the easiest platformers made. I'm sure there's a lot easier ones, but, but it's very easy. And even this gets difficult. I'm gonna go back and get the fire. Let's see what this fire can do. I don't know what that does. I'm a lazy bum and I don't wanna 
keep doing this. I always say that. But do lazy bums get one? I don't think so. One up. I love getting one ups. It's just like it, it makes you feel so much better about yourself. It's like doing community service. And this is just classic. This goes back to the original I don't know, it's either Kirby's Dreamland or Kirby's Adventure. This game is been remade so many times I can't even remember but I remember I'm gonna tell you a little story I was a young lad maybe about seven years old I was I was I wasn't addicted but I loved me some Game Boy Color Game Boy I my mom bought me a yellow Game Boy Color and I have more I play that thing for more than you could even imagine I'll take it everywhere, but my neighbor actually gave me this game because I was always like, I, I don't even know, I was doing something, and they were just like, they're not mean neighbors at all, they're they're nice people, it was kind of a joke, I remember he said, here, maybe this will keep you busy for a while, I remember he said that, and it was, it was this game, and I, I just, I Plugged it in, played it, I, of course I never beat it because I was so young, but I remember playing some of these levels, like, I don't know if this is the first level or what, but I remember, I just, I don't know what it is, you know, this part really hits me, it's playing the old music, and I'm just reflecting on my past, you know, just thinking about how I've grown over the years. Yeah, I know I'm getting emotional. I do that sometimes. Obviously, I'm not getting too emotional. I don't. It's not a big deal because when people look back on the past and say that it's sad that you have to grow up and stuff, I think it's all part of life. I mean, a lot of people say, "Oh, I'd love to go back to kindergarten." I'm glad where I am now. You no, know, you'd kind of get sick of being a kid for so long. Like sometimes I think about, I can't wait till I'm just an adult. I have a family. I have a wife, I get to sit down and watch like a sports game or something I don't have to with I don't have to be worrying about homework or anything. I could, you know, pretty much do whatever I want. I can make my own money, do what I want to do. Ultimately that's what life is pretty much about. So I'm pretty much gonna leave you on that guys. Uh, that last level was awesome, and when we get back we will do the epic boss finale. I can't wait. See you guys later.